everybody. Welcome to the Sunrise Academy. Today I am going to show you how to build an automatic honey collector. So let's get started. And here are the supplies you need. Two chests, or barrels, or one. Depends on how much honey you're trying to collect. Two hoppers, two redstone comparators, one redstone repeater, one redstone torch, a dispenser, a beehive or nest, seven redstone dust, 18 of some filler block, just any junk that you don't want, and some building blocks. And then of course, flowers and some bees. In my preparations, I built a glass house so that the bees would be contained. So you lay down two chests, and then you crouch, place a hopper to the chest, and then you need to add a filler block. And remember to crouch place, to add, put that on top of the chest. There we go. And then you can just place the next hopper into it and just knock that out. And that's where we should be so far. And then next, put your building blocks at two of them. And then one block behind that. Dig out just some room for you to uh, finish the circuit. knock out the block below the hopper and the block below the last building block. Then you add a redstone torch below the hopper and a repeater here in this notch that's facing towards the chest. And you add redstone on the second block and then on the one, third one And then you add a redstone comparator coming out of the top hopper. And this is what the circuit should look like so far. And then inside the item hopper, you want to spread your 18 blocks into a format like this. And then place the honey bottle in the four slot to put in there. Next we want to place a dispenser on top of that second hopper that we just put the honey in. So I'm going to build up some blocks. And then grab my dispenser and place it on that top hopper. So I know it's facing the right direction. And then I switch to the beehive and just uh, crouch place to put that on the dispenser. <laughs> so we know the dispenser is facing the right way. Now I can put my glass bottles in there. And as you can see, none have gone through to the large chest or the other hopper. So from here, then we add some more building blocks. You will have three coming back from the dispenser. Crouch, place the first one on the dispenser. Three, and then you need three coming out one level lower. I just destroy that block just so you guys can get a good sense of what's happening here. And then we add a comparator coming out of the beehive. Add redstone dust, five pieces along the top of this to the dispenser. And then you want to add another building block right there to cut off so that the signal isn't going through at that level. So this is what it should look like. Oh, am 
my building blocks. The redstone torch, comparator, two pieces of redstone dust for the hopper circuit, and then a comparator and five pieces of redstone dust to the dispenser circuit. And the comparator can tell how much honey is, what level of honey is in the beehive or nest. So next you need flowers and bees. So I added six bees because the maximum number of bees that can be in a, a hive or nest is three. So I figured three could be getting the pollen they want while three are in the chest or in the hive. And it worked out really well. I'm just going to speed this up so you guys can see what comes out of the comparator as the bees leave the hive. And they're pushing me around. They want to go in my direction. See how the uh, redstone dust lights up when one bee comes out and then the second bee comes out and then the third bee comes out. So now we just need two more bees to come out with after working and it will trigger the dispenser. So I'm going to fast forward again soon. Oh, I wanted to show you there's still one honey bottle there and not one in there. So now we fast forward while we wait for the three bees to come out that just hopped in there. And it takes approximately two minutes for them to do their work. So to get one bottle of honey, it takes six bees, four minutes to get you a bottle of honey. So now that one's going to sit in the bottom hopper. And then the next bottle of honey will go into the chest. Again, I did a lot of fast forwarding, watching the redstone, just so you can get a feel for what's going on. Yep, see there, three bees came out, three bees went in. bottle of honey so now we should have one in our large chest and there it is so they're gonna keep on doing that to, and even if the dispenser runs out of bottles they'll keep on doing their job you know the hive will get full and I went ahead and filled it in you can fill it in any way you like I just used glass around it so you could continue to see what was going on. And thank you everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you got some inspiration from this and I was able to help you out a little bit. So thank you very much. The bean is out. Wow, wow, wow.